hello friends so so far uh, in the interconversion between norton and thevenin uh, equivalent circuit what we did is that we were asked to find the norton equivalent circuit and first we determine the thevenin circuit from that we used to determine the norton equivalent circuit so in the next few questions we'll do the opposite here we are uh, going to find the norton equivalent circuit and from that we will find the thevenin equivalent circuit so we have here is the circuit and we have to find the thevenin equivalent across the terminals a and b so first we will find the norton current so we are doing it from the norton so we will find the thevenin from the norton equivalent circuit the opposite so for that we'll redraw the circuit 9 volt 5 ohm six ohm and this is 4 ohm so we will join these two terminals short them together and we have to find this current i n ok so let us say that this current flowing through resistor 5 ohm is i 1 so i 1 here i n is going here so at this node it will be i 1 minus I n ok so here we will apply mesh analysis ok we will apply mesh analysis so first we will apply KVL in this mesh so it will be 9 minus 5 I 1 and this is 6 volt minus 6 minus 6 into i1 minus i n this current is equal to 0 that implies 9 minus 5 i1 minus 6 minus 6 i1 plus 6 i n is equal to 0 that implies 9 minus 6 is 3 3 minus 5 i 1 minus 6 i 1 is 11 i 1 minus 11 i 1 plus 6 i n is equal to 0 or we can write it as 11 i 1 minus 6 i n is equal to 3 this is the first equation then we will apply KVL in this closed loop so it will be the polarity is like this with respect to the current flow like this so that we don't have any confusion so here when we apply KVL we will have 6 into okay in this direction from negative to positive it is plus 6 into i1 minus i n plus 6 6 volt minus 4 i n this okay 4 into i n is equal to 0 that implies 6 i1 minus 6 i n plus 6 minus 4 i n is equal to 0 that implies 6 i 1 minus 10 i n is equal plus 6 equals to 0 that implies we can also write it as minus 6 i 1 plus 10 i n is equal to 6 this is equation number 2. 
so we can solve it using variable cancellation method or if calculators if you want to use if it is allowed then we can put it in two equation format so i have already done that to save time so we get the value of i1 as 0.891 ampere and in which is required in this case as 1.135 ampere which is important for us 1.135 ampere so in is equal to 1.135 ampere so we have got in now we have to find the rn or the equivalent circuit equivalent resistance which is the same for both norton and thevenin so rn is calculated deactivating the independent sources so here we have two independent voltage sources so they will be short circuited 5 ohm this is short circuited again short circuited 6 ohm 5 ohm and again 4 ohm okay a b okay so rn will be 6 and 5 are in parallel with respect to each other the resultant is in series with 4 so it is 5 parallel 6 plus 4 which is 6 into 5 by 6 plus 5 that is 30 by 11 plus 4 so rn is coming as uh, around 6.727 ohm so rn is 6.727 ohm so we can draw the norton equivalent circuit as One point one three five ampere and six point seven two seven ohm. This is the Norton equivalent circuit. When we apply source transformation, we will get the Thevenin equivalent circuit where VTH is in into rn uh, rn is the same as rth so it is 1.135 into 6.727 which is equal to 7 point around 7.64 or 65 volt 7.64 something it is 7.65 volt let's say so that will be vth so it will be the same vth 7.65 volt and the same equivalent resistance will be connected in series 6.727 so this is the thevenin equivalent circuit okay 7.65 volt is the thevenin voltage 6.727 is the thevenin equivalent resistance because rn is equal to rth they are the same okay so here we were asked to find a thevenin equivalent circuit we did it from the norton equivalent circuit okay first we determine the norton equivalent circuit and from that we determine the thevenin equivalent circuit